look at the 2008 ITSEC event, we've been running around the floors here taking a look at intriguing technologies, and it seems that the TrueQ uh, implementation for a motion seat here certainly caught our attention. Can you tell us what you're doing? Yes, this is our dynamic motion seat. We're uh, featuring this at the show this year. Uh, it features a full six degree of freedom uh, motion, uh, all contained within a seat. Uh, we actually do that using uh, five motorized axes. It's an all-electric system. It uh, uh, moves those axes in coordination to replicate the full six degree of freedom uh, motion to the pilot. So we have the seat pan that you sit on. It tilts. It goes up and down. The back pad goes in and out, uh, left and right. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the whole uh, uh, seat also goes up and down. And we use uh, all those uh, axes in conjunction to provide the full six degree of freedom motion to the pilot. Well, the thing I, that immediately comes to mind here is that you've got a fairly mobile solution here. Yes, it's uh, self-contained, all within the seat itself. It can be uh, retrofitted into existing simulators. It was designed that way so it would be small, uh, it fit the original seat envelope, and uh, we can put it in new trainers, uh, put it into existing trainers. It also has the uh, ability to maintain the pilot's eye point when he is flying. So he can maintain his HUD alignment, uh, weapons alignment, uh, his hand uh, coordination and alignment with the control system so that as the seat is moving, he doesn't lose those, uh, those cues. Well, I notice you've got both fixed wing and uh, rotor wing scenarios here. And I was uh, got a kick out of watching the uh, seat bounce in uh, sympathy to the rotor slap. <laughs> Yeah, it, uh, it will kick you around. It uh, has quite a bit of power and it uh, will move very fast. Uh, of course, it replicates the motion and accelerations we get from the flight model. If the flight is smooth, it will go smooth, but if it is rough, it will also bounce and go rough as well. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system, with its detailed design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com. Well, we've seen seats before with some uh, inclination of motion or, or some tendency to try to uh, simulate motions that uh, one would find in a flight environment, but the five-axis five approach I don't think I've seen before. No, we, uh, we introduced this. We're the first manufacturer to do all five axes. Uh, we did this mainly from the feedback from our customers. Uh, we first, uh, our first generation was a four-axis seat. Uh, the pilots wanted more motion, wanted more yaw cueing, more raw cueing. So we went ahead and put the fifth axis in with the seat tilt. Uh, when we went into the fixed wing arena, we then added the belt tightening in the shoulders, and uh, that gave an, uh, an additional cue. Yeah, I saw that a little bit as he was pulling some G. That's kind of an interesting sensation. Yeah, it uh, works really well. Uh, when you're pulling G's, it will crunch you down. You really feel that you're pulling some uh, G's. And when you're going, doing negative G's, you get the tightening on the, on the harness, and it uh, really pulls you. Outstanding. Where, uh, where is this technology currently being implemented? Uh, it is in uh, Apache simulators right now in rotary wing. And there's a, uh, a lot of those seats that have been deployed. Uh, it's in a lot of 60 uh, Black Hawk simulations. It's in uh, V-22 simulations. And uh, this is our first uh, introduction into the fixed uh, wing arena. So we built an F-16 style seat. And this seat's going to go to uh, AFRL down in uh, Mesa, Arizona, where they're going to do some research with the seat, do some uh, analysis, and, uh, and put it into their simulation and try it down there. Now, what does this additional capability truly bring to the simulation environment outside of a tremendous amount of portability? Well, if you have a fixed base simulator and you do not have motion, it is uh, one cue that is absent from that training environment. Uh, a lot of, you get a lot of feedback from the motion, uh, such as uh, when you're doing maneuvers, especially high G maneuvers, it prevents pilots from uh, overstressing the aircraft uh, because they don't, they're not getting any feedback in, in the G queuing is, and, and, and roll queuing for that matter. So this provides a, that queuing uh, in a fixed base environment where uh, it wasn't available before. You've heard of this thing called WAS, right? The Wide Area Augmentation System lets you fly GPS glide path approaches without relying on ground-based landing aids. No VOR, no ILS, no problem. Fact is, WAS is so smart, 
It even knows what you're going to say next time you need it. And don't have it on board. Wah! Wah! I want my watch now! I was really crying there for a second. Now, where does this technology go from here? Uh, more axes. Uh, we're looking at actually doing uh, some more axes, more feedback, improving the seat, and we're always looking at that. And that's one thing we're looking at uh, the Air Force uh, to help us out with at uh, Air Forel Dena Mesa. Well, you're, you're getting to a point here where you're uh, potentially taking the place of most of the um, sensory input you would get from a full-fledged motion base. Uh, we like to think of it as augmenting uh, what you would get from a uh, full six stop motion base. For instance, a motion platform, uh, its main purpose is it excites your inner ear mm -hmm. and uh, gives you cue onsets. Uh, a dynamic motion seat actually gives you what we call sustained GQing, mm -hmm. in which case as you're doing the maneuver, that pressure is put on your body throughout the entire maneuver. So we do not wash out any of our axes. It's in there all the time. So there are, uh, these seats are put on uh, motion platforms uh, at a Kirtland Air Force Base. They have them on top of motion platforms and they use them with them. So it doesn't necessarily replace, it can be uh, used to augment a, uh, a six off motion system. Outstanding. Do you see uh, that kind of adoption taking place uh, in the near future? We're getting a lot of interest. I think it's gone a little bit past the, uh, the beginning stages. These systems are, are out there and in training right now, uh, so it is a proven system, uh, especially on top of the motion platforms. We've gotten a lot of feedback and a lot of, uh, a lot of interest from training centers in, uh, in putting this technology in, especially in the fixed-based arena as well as on, the, on top of motion platforms as well. Doug, thank you very much.